Masters and Quarters. When I was a child, handicapped seemed like a magic word. When I said it, people could see my brother. Just one word told his whole story. How he'd been brain damaged at birth and would never walk, talk, wash, feed or dress himself. How he'd be one years old forever, but that was okay because he was special and happy and full of love. Today, this word is only magic in the sense that you say it and poof, you're an asshole. Saying handicapped means you're backwards, uneducated and congratulations, you've just offended everyone. So I tell people that Bernard is disabled, which could mean anything from Down syndrome to mobility challenges, autism to dementia, blindness to arthritis. People with profound needs like Bernard are in a tiny minority of the 27,000 people registered with an intellectual disability. Should we assume that the majority have the same needs as the minority, just because we call them all disabled? Now, a national policy demands that Bernard move out of his home, a loving community, so that he can be an ordinary person living an ordinary life in an ordinary place. Handicapped wasn't the right term for the majority, but it told the truth of Bernard's condition. I need a new magic word to save my extraordinary brother. Um, Ellen, what do, what do you think? It, I mean, it's, it's, it's a strange one, but I guess, in a way, has the word disability come to mean everything and nothing now, in a sense? Yeah, I, it's, a, it's a tough one, and it's a nuanced one. And I suppose, you know, I would personally believe that the word handicapped belongs in history, along with the institutions that we used to put people in disabilities with. She does touch on a point about umbrella terms, so I suppose when you have a word like disability that's used in discourse a lot, uh, it can tend to only present the most sanitised cases. And I think you see a similar thing with mental health, where you see the really sanitised versions, but you don't see what happens in like acute psychiatric wards as well. Yeah, so that basically our, our view of disability is kind of heroic Paralympic athletes maybe, and then cute children and people with autism, aren't they funny the way they're so straight talking and stuff like that, but that there's a whole other area there and, and that maybe what she's saying is we need, we need separate terminology, like we don't, I guess we don't put all able-bodied people together Absolutely. under one umbrella either, I don't, do I, don't, I don't think that you need to, but I think that um, <clears throat> the English language evolves for a reason and I don't think handicapped is the right term to use anymore. It's the same with people, we've changed word for people's sexual orientation, for the way we describe someone's race, and I think it's important. I didn't even feel comfortable writing that word down. It's just not something I would use because it's used, there's so many derogatory terms that come off that one word, and I think that, yet yeah, people have different levels of disability, of course, but I don't think that there's any need for that word because it is, it's, it doesn't sound like a nice word. And but you know what, if that's the word that, that she's, comfortable with and that our family are comfortable with? Maybe who are we to, to take offence? What do you think, George? Well, what does disability mean? Disability means nothing. Like, if you take the word handicap, and, and I'm not trying to diminish the, the argument, but like, if you say handicap in golf, it means that this guy is better than this person or, or woman or whatever. Handicap. So the word handicap explains that it's not, in physical terms, par. This boy is, is handicapped. His whole life is a handicap. His whole life is faced with hurdles. Now, because they get nice, soft, cuddly terms to describe it, when her brother goes to a cinema and you want to take him to the toilet, there's no facilities. There's just a facility for a nice, mobile kid in a wheelchair, but there's no facilities for somebody who, who, can't, who needs nappies, who can't be fed. So then they say to you, why don't you go to the shopping centre down the road? They've got a, a toilet, so then you go to the shopping centre down the road, and they can't cope with that child either, because building regulations, cinema owners, everybody else can say, well, we've done something for disabled. But they haven't done anything for yeah, handicapped. But... There's one person in this room, though, who understands that, I have to say, Brendan. I mean, this is very close to you. And, and how do you react yeah. to it? I, yeah, I've, I saw it already, obviously, before now, and, and I thought it was very moving. One of the reasons I thought it was very moving is because I think the unsung heroes 
of this whole situation in many ways are brothers and sisters of, 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 of like, like Lynn because it has an extraordinary impact on their lives but th you will get no greater advocates and, and they, are, they are heroes really and they're warriors as well like the way they protect their siblings and the way they fight for them and everything you know and you try to tell them they don't need to do that they're not responsible but still you can see well, that Lynn is growing the up. Word handicap, given that you know what I think if that word works for them I don't think that dis disability is necessarily a much worse word than handicap I wonder will we look back on the word disability kind of means that person doesn't have an ability they're a disability it's like they're broken or something but we, we've I think as a society we haven't found a nice word in a way because well, like, like I think in people in the yeah. olden days in 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 a well-meaning way would say special and there was something kind of I think for some people there was something nice about that and you know you still have the Special Olympics and everything but then I think people thought special was a bit condescending I think we we, we possibly haven't found a word but I'll tell you what George one thing I will tell you you know the word we have in my house for for my daughter the word we like to use Mary and I think that's <laughs> fundamentally good for all people Anyway, finally tonight, 